Castle Kalen. Within the castle walls, Lynn's bitter enemy, Lundgren, awaits. A man who would kill his own kin for a throne. Watch out, Simba's here. What's up, Grunkle Lundgren? I'm alive! <laughs> <laughs> He's the source of all of her troubles. He must be stopped. He he really must be stopped. He is a problem. The distant plains. If this isn't a castle map... See, look, the plains are right there, though. Lynn's standing on one. <laughs> oh, no. Do we still have... There's two maps between us and killing Lundgren. Oh. Hey, hey. So there's 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 something there's something Fire Emblem fans like to see, and it's Lundgren will not be see receiving reinforcements. I okay, like mood. That. I, I like hope that that's too. true for the map. I hope that was a subtle way to tell me as a player that I do not have to worry about reinforcements on this map. it, Olive Garden. Our final test. My friends, for one last time, lend me your strength. Okay. It really... Have you noticed how you have... Okay, continue. It really wants us to deploy everybody, huh? No. Okay, I was gonna say, have you noticed how you haven't used the Monty Kati yet? Oh, I'm pretty sure I used it once. Yeah, you, I used one use of it somewhere. Oh! Okay, you used it once. I was gonna say, wow, I can't believe you went this entire time without using the body. Also, like, this is like the last chapter of Lynn's story, and I don't know when she joins in the second half of the game, so like... I don't even know- I don't even know if this will be relevant, so we'll probably use the Manikati at least once during this map. Might as well. <coughs> Congratulations, chat. We do not have to preserve you, since the Manikati. I mean, we're still going to, but... <laughs> we are not being forced against our will to preserve. Check this out. Because we got rid of Will, Sane can go there. He got his spot. Um, is is there actually anything of interest to steal? Because if there's nothing of interest to steal, I'm also gonna put Matthew away. Can you steal someone's weapon? I think. And make them, like, unarmed so they can't attack you anymore. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can do that. Ooh, Lundgren has a javelin. Ooh, boy, I'm excited we get to kill Lundgren. And his life. <laughs> he is such a problem. Him and that other guy, I don't even remember the other guy's name, but, like, that guy was the problem, too. <laughs> um... Actually, no, no, no. We'll, we'll, we'll bring Matthew. We'll bring Matthew because then he can um, he can ship damage some people every once in a while. He can just hang out. He's cool. Cause okay, <coughs> okay. An item shop and an armory are good news for us. Is there anybody who's running out of weapon? By the way, can we just talk about how we still don't have a convoy to use? I know, right? I thought in the other game you got one so fast. You got one like a second map practically. Yeah, and in 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 like in later games, like that's not a thing you get. You just have it. Although, hot take, I do think attaching the convoy to like Byleth or Robin, who are already good units, is a bad idea. Because, like, the, the whole trick with Merlinus was that he was a non-combat unit. Like, you could pull you could pull items in and out of your convo whenever you wanted by standing next to Merlinus and trading with him. But the fact that you the fact that he was a non-combat unit that you sort of had to escort across the map, that made it a lot more interesting. Right.
I don't know why I'm taking so long with, um, preparations. I'm just, I'm thinking a lot. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta think a lot, and that's alright. Trade. Um, okay. So, there's no fog on this map. Take this. Somebody's running low on sword uses, I'm pretty sure. Lin has another sword, that's okay. Um, Sane does not. By the way, just, just, just not using the pure water, not using the pure water is less a, um, we have to conserve uses of pure water, and it's more of a, I just forget it exists. Rip that one, though. Actually, I think I'm gonna give the pure water to Sane, because I think I'm gonna have Sane run up into that, in the, um, the Lance guy and the, um, the mage's range. So if he stands there and uses the pure water, he'll take less damage. Is there anything else we have to switch around? Oh, Nils. <coughs> Nils, you can give that to Sarah finally. We keep forgetting to do that. There you go. Okay, one more time, let's check our formation on the map. I think it's important that we prioritize... I think it's important that we prioritize um, our Cavaliers here. Um... Like I said, tutorial for 10 chapters, and we're finally reaching the end of it. Thank God! Because it's... yeah, you can attack here. Eh, it doesn't matter if... he, he won't be on the... on the tile. On the, um, woods tile. Pure water. Like, look at that. <laughs> nice. What's in this house? If I don't bring the laundry in now... <laughs> oh, hello, are you a soldier? Oh, boy. This is gonna be a stupid weather map again. Oh my gosh. I'm scared. We can have little a dumb weather map, you know, as a treat. We didn't switch Sane's weapon. Watch this though. Watch this though. We have a recovery strat for exactly this. So you can trade, and if you trade, if you trade a weapon to the top of somebody's list, they equip it. Oh my god, that's amazing. What? take him, and you can drop him. There we go. Because I didn't I didn't want him to be to be under Florina that whole time. That wouldn't have been useful at all. I think everybody's in position, but I'm still going to do this for the experience. I see no reason to not give Nils a chance to uh, to play his music because 
it gets us experience. It's important. See, we would have had like 20% less hit if I didn't trade, if it didn't trade Sane his Iron Lance. But yeah, did you see how did you see how one mistake that could have been crucial was rectified by pro gamer strategies? Heck yeah. I love Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem is what we fun. Pro gamer move? Okay, it's gonna rain soon. Oh my god. It's going to rain. Another weather map. I didn't even realize there was other weather besides fog before. That was the only weather in this game. I I, this really makes the fact that I've I don't remember this really makes me think that right, this is the only map where it happens. But then again, I haven't played past this map ever in my life. That's right, oh, guys. After this chapter, it is officially a real and true blind Iron Man. Dance. Dance and sing. Like you never had a chance? Dance. We're, we're a PG channel. Dance. Never had a chance. We're a PG channel. Watch this. We're using it. <laughs> we're just gonna crit. Oh my god! We're gonna use a use of the Manicati, and we're just gonna crit. Oh man! Now we have to use two uses of the Manicati. Nice. So I yeah, I think we've used enough of that sword for a little bit. We splurge, but now we're good. <laughs> yeah, that was that was us treating ourselves. Lynn can have a little Manicati, you know, as a treat. Exactly. I don't, I don't know why I was trying to keep Wrath of Archer range. That Archer isn't going to counterattack him. He can counterattack back. Has anybody has anybody made a hack where like Florina is just ungodly powerful so I can just send her right through here? <laughs> Cause she <laughs> can oh she can just go over there. <clears throat> and then she would suffer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we, we can send her over there. She just won't have a good time if we do. I really don't like how um, the way the way the forest slows us down forces us to clump up like this. Because then it's about to rain, which means we're gonna lose moves that way. And according to that lady in the house, according to that lady in the oh house, it makes calves have an awful time. Oh, that feels that feels bad. <laughs> We're looking at a cab with two move. Rip. I like that Wallace is only technically a pre-promote, barely, because he shows up and then we're forced to promote him. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, I want to give the experience to, like, somebody else can't do that. Even flyers aren't safe. That's... that's awful. When you said that nomads handled it better, I didn't think you meant they got one more move. This is disgusting. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think Florina has goggles. She's gonna have to get water in her eyes if she Flies. Oh. 
Wait, does it reduce accuracy or is it just reduce movement? It reduces move. Which, you know, turn turns this into like a threateningly slow brawl. Hey, um, low turn count community, can you tell me how you feel about this map? <laughs> I mean, I assume low turn count just skips Lin mode, but whatever. <laughs> you know, I want to visit that house over there. But I ain't gonna let it get to me. I'm just gonna creep. <laughs> That's exactly what's happening right now. I just realized. This is Lin's true home. We found it. Pumpkin Hill. <laughs> you know, I think it's funny that there's people who, like, don't include the Game Boy Player overlay in their video, and then still try to pretend that they're that, that they were recording this totally legally. You mean like us? Yeah. I mean, with us, it was for a bit. We're okay. We are safe because we are being we have the power of irony on our side. You're here to fight Lundgren, aren't you? Do you have enough weapons? Lundgren's an Free ordinary stop. knight. He's a general. Iron weapons lack the edge to penetrate his armor. Are you about to give me a rapier or something? Oh. Oh, okay, I have to buy one. That's okay. <laughs> he's just... He's just shilling. He's not giving us free stuff. <coughs> oh, it's this again. Yeah, we're, we're not gonna knock over this, this snag over here, because that would require us to, like, take a detour. Instead, we're just gonna send Florina to visit these shops. Okay, fair. Actually, thieves can cross one tile of water also, apparently. Ooh, I hate that we can't, like... I hate that I can't aggro these guys yet. Because I, I, cause, like, I really want to play, like, somewhat aggressively right now. Because... I always feel like, um, whenever I turtle in Fire Emblem, things start going wrong. <laughs> Fair. That's just, that's just the fact of the matter. The longer I take, the longer there's a chance for something to go wrong. Basically, yeah. Oh, apparently Matthew can't- well, it's probably because of the movement penalty from water. From rain. <laughs> Dang it. <coughs> of course, I don't really know how that works, but okay. Oh, there's some tiles that, like, drop your move by a point whenever you cross over them. Like, oh, okay. forests do that. We're free. Of course, we're, we're not gonna- we're not gonna stay in here, because he's gonna get forest buffs if we do that. Instead... I'm not keeping her here, I'm just seeing what would happen. No. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna say, um, comments, don't yell at me, don't worry. We are not killing Florina, it's fine. Yeah, we're trying to make, we're trying to make as much effective use of the choke points we can find on this map as I can. I hope this archer attacks Ruth. Wrath. I did it again. Why did you call him Ruth again? I don't know. Who is Ruth? Is, new name? is there a Ruth Fire Emblem? I feel like there's there there wouldn't be. That's like a human name. <laughs> it's like a, there's a Matthew. Okay, true. Speaking of which, we're gonna move Matthew out of this archer's range so that he's either going to attack Kent, which is probably what's gonna happen, or he'll attack Wrath.
Aw, man, a reinforcement. It was just one, but it was there. I don't like it. Too many. What is too many? There's also a cav. That's not good. Imagine if someone had two children and they named Cain and Abel. Would that be messed up or what? <laughs> yeah, would that be messed up or what? <laughs> hey Ford, if two guys were on a map and one of them killed each other, killed the other one with an iron lance, would that be messed up or what? <laughs> That's this game in a nutshell. War is bad. Hi, hello, I'm Fire Emblem Three Houses, here to remind you, war, not cool. Not epic. Going to war is like the most <laughs> unepic thing you can do. Extremely true. Not to get political. But let's get political about something that happened, like, 50 years ago instead. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say 25 minutes ago. <laughs> or however long ago it was that you said that thing. Oh, yeah, that yeah, was, yeah. That um, was definitely more than 25 So I was writing a paper ago. for my history class, and it was about it was about Ulysses S. Grant saying that the Mexican-American War was, um... I, I can find the quote. I can find the quote. Hold on. I've got the history book right here. Isn't that serious. crazy? This is like the exact aesthetic of a Fire Emblem play. It's fine. Yo, actually, this is perfect. Like, I'm I'm talking about real war and doing like research in the middle. Like, this is this is Fire Emblem right here. Um, we have Breach Peak Fire Emblem. Where is it? <laughs> What were the exact words that Ulysses S. Grant said? I feel like I recall the the famous Ulysses S. Grant being, "You shouldn't believe everything someone says on." The <laughs> Wait, no, that was the Lincoln quote. Never mind. But um, yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, the Mexican-American War. Basically, President uh, President James K. Polk, K. Was it K? I don't know. Yeah, James it was K. Polk. James Pol James K. Polk Middle School. But yeah, but yeah, James Polk um, was like, we're gonna take, we're gonna take Canada from, we're gonna, or not Canada. Why did I say Canada? We're gonna take California from Mexico right now in my presidency. <laughs> we're gonna add California to the United States. All you Californians out there. There was bloodshed for you. To be fair, there was bloodshed for, like, every. Correct. But this is extra whack, right? Because, like... Okay, you just Grant called it... One of the most unjust wars ever waged by a stronger nation against a weaker nation. And that is because, um... You see, Polk wanted to start, and I quote, a small war. A small war, so that there will be no time for war heroes to arise who can oppose him in the following election. What? Yes, because here's the thing. At, at this point, at this point, a lot of presidents and like politicians had been people who fought in wars. Okay. You're right. This is the fire emblem aesthetic. They should make a Fire Emblem game based on real life. <laughs> You're right. I wanna, I wanna perma kill Aaron Burr on accident. <laughs> Perfect. Hamel emblem. Like I said, Mark, uh, Matthew can cross the water, so I'm not gonna send him across the bridge. I'm gonna send him across the water. Oh no, a second cavalier spawned. What about being a thief makes it so that you can walk on water? I don't Let's know. Um, but anyway, um, 
folks plan to start the to start a war with Mexico to win Canada or to win California. Why do I keep saying Canada? But his, his plan his plan to win California from Mexico was um he was he sent a bunch of soldiers. He just sent a bunch of soldiers to the border of Mexico and Texas and said, just just be intimidating. Just camp there. And then eventually, when that wasn't working, his next course of action was to go, okay, since they won't come for us now, just walk directly, <coughs> just just trespass, just 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 do it. <laughs> they went 120 miles across the border. 120. Reminder, all of this was unprovoked. All Polk wanted was California. All this happened because Polk wanted California. Keep that in mind. And, uh, <laughs> he, he takes, he takes, uh, the troops are in California, or the, the troops are in, um, south of the Rio Grande, and Mexico is like, um, dude, you've been intimidating us for, like, several days. We're gonna fight back now. So then they go to war. <laughs> and, like, the this history book even includes a nice little map that goes over all of the, all of the, like, major, uh, major deployments and movements throughout the war. So, um, the movements of American troops are represented in blue arrows, and the movements of Mexican troops are represented in black arrows. Um... America does most of the movement. There's like two little black arrows on this on this map. <laughs> so really, this this whole time, um, this whole time, it, it's pretty clear Mexico was just playing defense because it was their place. It was their place. It was being stolen from them. Anyway, all this to say, war is bad, and. I hope James Polk learns his lesson, you know. When's our James Polk redemption arc? <laughs> wow, I cannot believe you just did that. I think I think every president you've ever seen in a history book. The the actually, have you seen the Good Place? You just, you still haven't seen the Good Place because I was gonna I was gonna make a joke that <laughs> hinges on you having seen it. Yeah, I have never seen The Good Place. I've seen an image of the funny man flossing, and that's it. That wasn't part of the show. That was, like, off. That was, that was, that was actually the actor learning how to floss. <laughs> that should have been a part of the show. Actually, I think he, I think he does do it. Okay, he does do it eventually, but before that, there was a clip circulating that was just him learning to floss. You double? Did I say triple? You can quadruple in three houses. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. You need to use um you need to use gauntlets, because they, they have an inherent double attack. But then if your speed oh, is wow. high enough to double. If your speed is high enough to double, then you can you then you can um quadruple. That's amazing. Let's go all of Let's go, Olive Garden. Let's go. The next, the next. Oh wait, this is the only game. You, basically, I was gonna say the next one you should name your Six Flags. <laughs> I mean, we could always play like New Mystery of the Emblem. I think there's an English version of that. New Mystery of the Emblem, as opposed to the old mystery, which you already saw. Oh, Old Mystery of the Emblem is, um, an SNES game. <laughs> oh my god, is it real? Okay, so Mystery of the Emblem is Fire Emblem 3, right? Okay. And then New Mystery of the Emblem is a remake of Fire Emblem 3. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Like, New Super Mario Bros. Yes. 27. Wait, no, we're not rescuing. We're just making sure that Lance is equipped. We're just chilling.
Doot doot, we need more music. We need we need more magic. Doot doot. Thank you. Yikes! Uh, it'll be fine. It's not uh, fine anymore. That was terrible. Well, we'll 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 live. Um, that's okay. But like, I would have much preferred that hit. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and um. Actually, can you? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, because we, we, we took the liberty of breaking down this one. I'm just going to let Raph do it. Oh, actually, it might, it might legitimately be kind of viable to send everybody this way. <coughs> Block did the you path. Ever get, did you ever get um, Path of Radiance to work at more than one frame a second? Yeah, it, it works um, close to correctly now. Oh, that's good. Like, it's in a state where I'm like, yeah, we could, we could play that. Good. Wait, is that the one that has Volug in it? I think. It's either that one or Radiant Dawn, I can never remember which. Miss. Aww. Yeah, I think Kent, Sane, and Wallace have us covered. Because the the other the the other Cavalier can't reach us yet, so we have time to heal Kent. Nice. No. Yikes! Don't like that. Better not. Hey, do you remember? I, I feel like I'm asking, but I like got Mandela affected about a Final Fantasy cutscene and it's been driving me crazy. Oh Did boy, what happened? <laughs> okay, so you know the cutscene where Titus laughed? Yeah. I remember that ah. cutscene being completely different. What I remember was that girl, they were like having some kind of weird conversation, and then that girl was at some point. It was actually probably fairly early in the conversation that she was like, "Hey, did you know when it when it rains and the sun is shining, it's called the devil's beating his wife." <laughs> and I remember this so vividly, but no one else agrees. Like that's how the cutscene went. What? what like, how like, does it go? At that. <laughs> Not like that. I don't remember anymore. They're like talking about like stuff that actually is plot relevant to Final Fantasy that I do not understand. Okay. So the armory is... Oh? Stuff! Um, okay. Hold it. I need to know what- I need to know what weapon types Lundgren has. Spear? Okay. Can't believe you almost tricked me into buying an armor slayer. No, we're gonna- we're gonna buy a heavy lance. <laughs> Actually, wait, wait, wait. Let's check everybody's lance rank first. D rank lances, E rank lances. I think Kent might not be able to wield it, but we're gonna have C. And what about you? you have A rank lances. You can definitely hold this. Armory. All right. What's what's the requirement? Oh, only D rank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the only thing we're buying, because they're very expensive. <laughs> we're gonna... S okay. But yeah, the, these three are basically just holding it down until, until I figure out how to make Cavaliers stop spawning. I think it'll do it if I just stand on that fort. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure in in the GBA games you can you can just stand on the the spawn point and they'll stop spawning. I think the thing it was the thing that like bothered me in a later game where it's like 
you stand on it and then they spawn next to it. <laughs> Ew. But in the meantime, experience points, baby. Okay, thank god. Okay, I'm curious, what's- what's in here? Oh! Ooh, stuff! No, 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 we don't need a vulnerary. So we're gonna buy a Thunder Tome to give to Urk. But other than that, we're- we're not getting anything else. We're gonna do a little bit of chip damage to the snag. We're not gonna actually break it until we're ready to put somebody right here. But somebody will probably be Dorcas. Sarah is staying behind to make sure she can, um, she can heal. Woot! <coughs> yeah, I, I very much enjoy these maps where, where I, like, I split people into, into very clear jobs to keep things manageable. Because, let's be real. If I didn't sit these three here in the way of all these Cavaliers, we'd have a problem right now. Right. Yeah, everybody else has moved. End. Alameo. Wow. Owned. Oh, I know what to do. How- what's your constitution, friend? Three? What's your aid, Erk? Four? Yeah. Look at that, we're- we're- we're, we're getting him closer. We just- we just moved Nils a whole square closer. Pro gamer tactics. Oh, we have to visit that village. <laughs> You know, you should really visit the armory. I'll tell you what, we're gonna send Florina to visit it, because she can do that next turn. Instead of instead of having somebody turn around or breaking our formation. Cause I really don't want to break formation right now, because. Who knows what'll happen. By the way, I'm drinking so much water now that we've Good. Uh, we've been doing yeah like I I feel so healthy. Say hi, hydrated everyone. Ooh, stuff. Use it in the in energy ring. Okay, we okay, we just got a stat booster. That's that's good, that's good, that's good. Did she say strength and magic? Strength or magic, okay. Well it's it's because anybody can only use either or in this game. Whatever. Um
But yeah, as previously stated, the plan... The plan is to bring Kent, Sane, and Wallace over here once we stop the spawn of the Cavaliers. Okay, Parker. Wait, are you giving, are you giving Wallace the spear? Yeah, I'm giving, I'm giving the spear to either Wallace or Sane. Wallace has more strength, right? Yeah, Wallace has an extra point of strength. We'll, we'll, we'll run the numbers. Not yet, but we'll run the numbers. I think next, I think this turn we should be able to pop Dorcas on the, um, yeah, we can pop Dorcas on the fort now. Um, remember nice. when I said I wasn't going to hit the snag? <laughs> yes. And then Cavaliers started spawning. And the reason we're putting Dorcas on the fort is because he can fight that armor knight that's going to walk up to him after that. <laughs> This one right here. That fella. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna proceed with caution because I'm not certain that stops their spawn, but it should. But we're we're still gonna we're gonna push these boys through so that the bridge is still a protected area. Wrath will stand here in case in case they spawn on here for some reason. <laughs> All according to plan. Note, kick plan means plan. <laughs> Oh my god. Stop. Really? Dorcas, can you just can you just like end this man's whole career? Please. Mm. I'm gonna have Dorcas stand here, and if he gets the chip damage, he gets the chip damage. After that he's getting out of the way. We give oh we didn't give Eric his Thunder Tome yet. No. No no no. Trade. Here you go, friend. Trade. Hold this, we won't need it yet. And then Florina can fly it over to these guys. You know, airdrop the cargo. <laughs> I am making maximum use of my units. Except Sarah. Sarah's over there. She's just chilling. Sarah just Sarah Sarah vibing. I'm gonna give Wallace. I'm gonna give Wallace the energy ring to hold, and if he can't one round, if he can't one round Lundgren, then I'll use it on him. But we're just we're just going ahead and putting it in his hands for convenience. Oh 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 oh! It would have been bad if Cavalier started spawning again. <laughs> this is my realm, and you've entered without my permission. You will not leave these lands warm. alive. Ouch! Yeah, that's why Dorcas is leaving. However, he did what I was hoping he'd do. He hit Lundgren. All 
Alright, Dorcas, you're leaving. Good boy. Good boy. Eric, be a good boy and go fight. <laughs> War is bad, Miss Warmonger. Happy fun music time. We can't just move there, because... Lundgren has a javelin. Are you scared for Dorcas? I'm not scared for Dorcas right now, because I've moved him out of the way. Even if Lundgren ja javelins him? Yeah, javelin is 1-2 range. 1, 2. Oh. I'm gonna run some numbers. I'm gonna do some scouting. Don't like that. That was the numbers in the scouting. Rain, gone. Sweet. More numbers. More scouting. We're gonna have Eric wait so that then we can reap that sweet, sweet 10 experience points. It is literally free EXP. There's no way I'm not using it. it, it like. <laughs> We are going to beat you to death. <laughs> Except Sarah. She's just watching. Okay. How does this how does this look? <sighs> do you do you have Okay. Okay. So we're gonna have to take the same approach we took with Dorcas, where friend is just gonna stand there and hope he hits. Fair but sad. Nobody said it'd be easy. It's not easy being green. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hit him with Eric, and then we're going to play for Eric and then move him. Remember that part of the LP where I opened my history book and read a history book in the middle of Fire Emblem? Heck yeah! That's the best. Alright, let's watch. Miss him, Lundgren. Okay, so the difference now is... Whoa, that was close! Yeah, yeah, so so he does 9 damage to us, we do 17 to him, so... This is much more viable. Good for Nils. You know what I want? I think, I, I think, I, I think you know what I want. Mmm... Hold on, hold on, how much stronger is the many copy? Oh, yeah. We're gonna put him here so that Nils can dance if this doesn't work. Oh, yikes. Oh, that's not comfortable. You have to kill him. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, why did I say that? That's my fault. 
your hit rate. Problem. What's your hit rate? Okay, okay. Just, just get him. Just get him. And <sighs> his life. Thank you. That annoying little girl. Ugh, come on. It's what you get. Oh my gosh. This guy's problematic, too. Lucy's almost got a full level up there. Or a full double level up, I mean. I can't. I can't. Oh, this is C's? Okay. Just gotta chill. <sighs> Lundgren oh is God, dead, so Crab Rave. <laughs> Future me is definitely too lazy to make a crab rave clip for this. <laughs> that is fair. I am Raceman, the Chancellor of the Kalen Royal Family. I have received word from Kent and Sane when you first met, but then Lundgren discovered the message and imprisoned me. I've been in jail for seven years. <laughs> you took a long time to play this video game. probably only been like a month. <laughs> yeah, I see my grandfather now. I like I like Lynn's I like Lynn's like can I can I see my grandpa now? Please Ooh, do we get a render? Do we get a render render render? I hope render? we get a render. I hope we get a render. Who's there? I said no visitors. I will see no one. Aww. Oh my gosh, I'm like tearing up actually. Oh my gosh. Did you say Lindis? Is that? Oh. Could it be? Come. Come here. Let me see your face. Oh. Yes, there is no doubt. You are Madeline's trueborn child. Ugh. Ugh. Grandfather? Oh Aww. my gosh, I'm shedding real tears. Lundgren told me my daughter had died. My heir, and you too. He told me you were dead. Thank you. Thank you for living. I am blessed. Mother and father were sa slain last year by brigands. I, I was the only survivor. I lived on, but... Lindis, please forgive a prideful old man. If I had but accepted your parents' love, there would have been no bandits. We would have lived here together in perfect peace. Grandfather, my parents, my tribe, our life was one of love and peace. The end was tragic, but up until the attack, we were truly happy. Truly, Madeline had a life of happiness. Knowing that gives me so much joy. Thank you, Lendis. I can die in peace now. No, you mustn't say that! There is no avoiding it, Lindis. I've taken too much poison for far too long. It's too late. Be brave, Grandfather. You will recover. Believe me. On the plains, we say that illness fails in the face of a strong heart. I am with you now. You mustn't give up. You're with me? Yes. We have so much to talk about. Walks to take. Music to listen to. There's so much I want to do with you. So much lost time we can recover. That does sound nice. Doesn't it? And once you're well, I'll take you to the plains. I'll show you the endless sky, the oceans of grass. I want you to know the lands my mother loved so much. The lands Madeline loved. You're right. I still have... 
quite a bit of living to do. You can do it, Grandfather. Lindis. Oh my gosh. Dude, how are you feeling right now? Epic. We made it. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm on like this fire emblem high that says we can't stop until next chapter. <laughs> Okay, but I'll need to, like, AFK for, like, a minute, maybe. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. Once this is over. Oh! <gasps> He's gonna be okay! I was worried they were gonna hit us with, like, the- was, like, the Lin's- Lin's empowering speech, and then he dies. I know! I did too, actually! That's exactly what I thought. Like, uh-oh. Oh my gosh. Good on you, Grandpa! It's like he was never ill. Oh. Lady Lindis! What is it, Florina? Oh! Florina works for us now! But like, for real, nice. in an official capacity! For real! From here on, Lin. I mean, Lady Lindis. We'll be together always! Please don't call me Lady Lindis. For you, I'm still just Lin. There are rules to follow. Bruh. Aww. Oh my goodness. Kiss. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god! We made it. Hey, 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 hey. For for any for any of you losers out there who want to say, but she didn't mean it like that. Sometimes people are gay. Agreed. Good post. Little scamp or whatever that word is. Oh, okay. That's that's. <laughs> I was gonna say that's Will. Did you forget? Oh, you're you're staying. Okay, you can stay. All right. Fine. <laughs> Couldn't possibly leave everyone behind. I'll send word to my family regarding my decision. Lynn is happier to have Will than I am. <laughs> Funny and true. It's a GBA Fire Emblem. Archers, archers have no place here. Oh. This is like the part at the end of a game where they play the main theme and you cry, except, um, this is chapter 10. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea we'd be together for so long. You've helped us so much, and I'm sure you've learned all you can from us. Aww. It's like Lin's telling us the tutorial is over. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we play the real game. Tactics. Tactics. I think we just need a clean soundbite of me saying tactics. We do. <clears throat> tactics. Do with that what you will. Do with that what you will. That's from someone who's seen you at work. Now we've got a <gasps> render clip looking directly into the camera. Nice! It's official! Take care. I... I hope I see you again. I'm sure that I will someday. Wait, wait, are they really rolling endings right now after Lin mode? What, what? <laughs> For his bravery of filling the fan, Kent is named Commander, Knight Commander Kalen. 
Sane earned the honor of being named Sub-Commander of the Kaelin Knights. Despite his promotion, he still scoffs at authority and woos village girls. He is much loved by the, by the citizenry. Lorena has arranged to stay in Kaelin. She spends her every waking hour in rigorous training, hoping to become invaluable to Lynn. Her fear of men has lessened, but only slightly. With his cheery outlook and his happy-go-lucky demeanor, Will has become quite dear to the Marquis Kalen's household. Kent is teaching him manners befitting of a swordsman of Castle Kalen. Oh, sworn man. I was going to say, can we give him a sword, please? <laughs> Once Lynn's true heritage is recognized in Kalen, Dorcas returns to his home in Vern. There, he cares for his wife and makes a good living as a mercenary, fighting local bandits. Ultimately, Ert succeeds in seeing Sarah safely to Ostia. While her behavior is irritating at best, she is sorely missed. <laughs> his contract with Sarah complete, Eric sets off for Euteria. His time as a mercenary is just part of his training, and he's glad to see it end. He has since returned to his mentor. In celebration of following Lin's return to Kaelin, Wrath slips out unseen. Whether he's returned as a K or continued work as a mercenary, no one knows. Matthew vanishes after the final battle, and his whereabouts remain a mystery. He just vanishes. <laughs> Nils' stats are zero. Nils and his sister Ninian take their leave of Castle Kaelin after a few days. He may be traveling the land, mastering his musical skills somewhere. Lucius studies in Kaelin for a time, but he departs after receiving summons to another land. He has since been seen traveling with a hard-eyed mercenary. For Wallace, Lin's struggle only whets his appetite for battle. He sets off in search of a cause worthy of his blade. He lacks any sense of directions, so it may be years before he returns. Oh, oh. Olive Garden plans on traveling through Lycia to continue her training. Lin refuses to say goodbye. She knows in her heart that we will see her again. Oh, Lin's ending. Lin now lives with her grandfather as Lady Lindis of Castle Caitlin. Under her loving care, Lord Hawson recovers, and now the two of them go for many walks in Caitlin. Come, come, no, come back! On clear, dry nights, Lin can be seen high atop a hill near the castle. Perhaps she is remembering the home of her youth. The Plains of Sakai. I like her horse. I like her horse. Oh, oh of course, of course. Always.